Option A is the difference between sets S and T. Looking at the Venn diagram, the difference between sets S and T is the area occupied by set S that is not occupied by set T. Hence, the elements in set S that are not in set T are 1, 12 and 18. Therefore, option A is correct. Option B is the difference between sets T and S. Looking at the Venn diagram, the difference between sets T and S is the area occupied by set T that is not occupied by set S. Hence, the elements in set T that are not in set S are 2, 15 and 29. Therefore, option B is correct. Option C is the difference between sets V and T. Looking at the Venn diagram, the difference between sets V and T is the area occupied by set V that is not occupied by set T. Hence, the elements in set V that are not in set T are 3, 18 and 23. Therefore, option C is correct. Option D is the difference between set S and that of sets T and V. We first determine the difference between sets T and V. Looking at the Venn diagram, this set difference is the area in purple, that is, the area occupied by set T that is not occupied by set V. Now, the difference between set S and that of sets T and V is the area in blue, that is, the area occupied by set S that does not include the area in purple. As you can see, the elements in the blue area are 1, 7, 12, and 18. Therefore, option D is correct. Given that options A, B, C and D are all correct, the answer to this question is option E.